Hi, Mo I'm Monica. Um, first, thank you for inviting me to present here. It's been a very beautiful conference so far. And today I want to talk about Euler characteristics of crop and resolutions of fire stress models. And um, these will be based on two papers already published and one shortly coming soon. My collaborators are Mboyo, Ravi, and Patrick. Um, here we're going to take a geometric approach to understand some um, physics. By using elliptic vibrations, we geom geometrically engineer gauge theories and F theory and M theory. We already know that M theory compactified on a Calabio threefold gives the five dimensional supersymmetric gauge theory with eight supercharges. So there's a one to one dictionary already established from a geometric perspective using elliptic vibration and um, gauge theory, which will be uh, given in the table. Um, from Baturev and Konsevich, who are mathematicians, we can infer that the Euler characteristics of two different Krapin resolutions of the same variety are actually identical. So what we can get from that is that we can compute for a single Krapin resolution explicitly for the Euler characteristics and Hodge numbers for each gauge group from Weierstrass models. So we don't have to do for different Krapin resolutions since they are the same. Um, and from there, we developed an algorithm for um, computing Euler characteristics. The first step, um, for a given Lie group G, we can determine a singular Weierstrass model with a coder of fibers associated to the gauge group. And for the next step, we determine um, Krapin resolution of singular Weierstrass model. And by doing so, we have retrieved enough data to compute the total homological churn class of the Krapin resolution. Oh, this is fly. Um, um, and for the third step, we compute the push forward por formula repeatedly to push the total trend class all the way forward to the base. And from here, we get the generating function of Euler characteristics. For example, for, um, if you consider a d-dimensional base, the Euler characteristic is simply given by um, coefficient of the dth power of a variable t when you do the power series expansion. So, so far, uh, after the step three, we got for um, generic elliptic default Euler characteristics. So to compute for the physics, we apply Calavio conditions for the threefold and fourfold. Uh, for the generating functions of Euler characteristics, for smooth bias source model is this. And for examples, we compute for G2 or F4 for the singular models, it's given as this. And Hodge numbers, we use Shiota Tait Wazir theorem to compute the non trivial Hodge numbers of H11 and H21. And we can see that um, there's this F, which is the number of geometrically reducible fibral divisors not touching the zero sections. So, in particular, for um, given G as the simple group, F is simply the rank of G. So, we compute it for three folds. Um, it's a lot, but if you look at, for example, this, there are several groups that has the same Hodge numbers and or the characteristics, just because it has the same rank for the group. Um, the same is done for the fourfold. Um, I want to note that um, some of the gauge groups has been studied for the um, BGJW paper and matches completely. Um, next, we computed um, for um, pre-potential for intrilegator Morse and Cyborg for the five-dimensional gauge theory by using this formula. And from now on, I'm going to consider as a particular example for the gauge group F4, which is given as this. And then we compute triple intersection numbers for the same group um, using completely geometric perspective. And you can see that it matches completely when the uh, number of representations for adjoint and fundamental are computed as these. So when you think um, the, the, the G is actually genus. So if you consider G is zero, and the self-intersection of the curves are minus five, then we know that we actually have no representations, even though co-dimension to singularities do exist. In such a case, we say that the representation is frozen, as we discovered. So I want to um, summarize the whole thing. Um, first, this is the most important thing, which is we found an easy systematic algorithm to compute the Euler character characteristics for um, elliptic vibration of arbitrary dimensions that are not necessarily Calabi-Yau. And since the M theory compactified on a Calabi-Yau threefold gives a five-dimensional gauge theory um, for the gauge group G and its representation, Euler characteristic and Hodge numbers are computed for these cases. And the same is done for the full Calabio fourfolds, which gives a three-dimensional gauge theory. In addition to that, we computed for the um, intrilegator Morrison cyborg prepotential, which gives the uh, Kulum branch of the five-dimensional gauge theory. 
You compute an explicitly the number of representations by matching the pre-potential with the triple intersection numbers that was computed geometrically. And I want to note that these numbers that we found matched completely with those obtained in a six-dimensional theory using anomaly cancellations, which is a physically meaning just all the anomalies are, are cancelable. Thank you for listening. Any questions? Uh, could you say a bit more about this particular F4 case in five dimensions? What, uh, what, what is the cor corresponding gauge theory in 5D? Um, wait one sec. So, wait. How do I go back? Um, one sec. Are you referring to the F4 for this one? Yeah. Um, so F4, the F4 model, which is an exceptional gauge group, we can compute for triple intersections and uh, pre-potential separately, and we just match the uh, explicit coefficients to determine the um, number of representations. So for F4, we have fundamental of 26, yes. and address is 52. When you do that, we get G, right. which is the genus yeah. of the curve, and uh, fundamental is this. So, so it's just a pure F4 in, pure F4 theory in five dimensions w without any hypermultiplets. Do I understand it correctly? Oh, these are uh, hypermultiplets going under the adjoint representation and fundamentals. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I didn't talk about tensors and vectors because those are given by the, uh, the vial chambers and sub vial. I just didn't have enough time to put it in the slides. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let us uh, thank the speaker again.